Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some more 2K23 news. I'm finna show y'all and go in depth about all the new badges, not just what was released in the article, man. Got a lot of exclusive news for y'all that you ain't gonna hear nowhere else. So make sure you watch this full video. Hit that like button, it helps out the vid a lot. So firstly, before we go in depth about all the new badges and stuff, right? Mike Wang tweets out, football throw full court heaves are back in just for you. I don't know what that means. This has kind of always been in the game. If I'm like, I'm a guessing someone throwing it like hella long, um, I don't know. But this boom guy says, is Intimidator still around? Mike Wang says, Intimidator is gone. Leak, 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 leak. It didn't say that in the article, my boy. <laughs> the equivalent in uh, NBA 2K23 is anchor that is the new intimidator y'all let me know if y'all like that and for perimeter contest there's a new challenger badge okay so they split intimidator into like two badges hey man i'm here to tell y'all they not trying to have you stack a bunch of hall of fame badges anymore man they really trying to limit you <laughs> that 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 was the whole purpose of the next gen builder but then it got broken you know it wasn't intended to be like that it was intended to be more limited than current gen a lot of people don't know that they think they went to the freedom route but um they didn't they tried to make it even more restricted hence them doing oh five badge point six seven you know type stuff to like limit you Mike Wayne just tweeted this out, man, you know? <laughs> this is why you gotta turn on notice for the, for the YouTube, my boy. Most, if not all of the returning badges have been retuned or reworked in some way. If something was OP in 22, don't assume it will be again in NBA 2K23 also. Some of the weaker badges were buffed also, okay? He trying to make a statement. Now look, my guy, Uncle Demi, tweeted this out strength for the first time will play a huge part in 23 other than just the post game badges will require a certain strength in order to get in locks and guards will notice a major difference also okay now if y'all didn't know <laughs> uncle demi damn near dev uh he went out there last year to help them with the uh builder and and other stuff and all that i don't know if he went this year but i assume he do because he got um a bunch of tweaks that i'm finna show y'all that's not even in the article at all um like right here um he's basically like strength has never worked this is why he's saying first time it's never been relevant in 2k they always try to hype it up it could be bait right now but now they might force strength to matter because the bitch ass niggas can't implement it um the, the fucking gameplay devs they can't implement it I, I don't know why but um now it seemed like they making it to where you have to have strength for certain defensive badges or strength for certain you know finishing badges or maybe even playmaking too you know so it'll actually make you have to upgrade it you know um i think next year they're they're trying to make people not have a bunch of stacked badges even uh uncle demi tweeted it out and he had something to do with the uh the badges and builder last year so you know i had a little convo with him i'm finna show y'all that but um y'all let me know how y'all feel about that man and also like I, I don't i don't think they could make strength actually be a thing but he's saying it's gonna be a thing i mean i'm personally bro i'm not I'm not upgrading my when I make my builds, bro. Like my comp meta ones, I, I'm not falling for the bait. I'm not falling for the bait until someone show me on God. <laughs> I'm not falling for the bait, bro. You know, I'm gonna do my minimums and and that that's about it. But make sure y'all watch my videos when them builds come out. You don't want to waste hundreds of dollars on ass builds. I I cover all the builds for y'all. But Uncle Demi saying slashers are gonna be OP and strength again will play a huge part okay it didn't play i don't know if he's talking about last year because it didn't last year but he's saying it's gonna play a huge part this could be because the gameplay which i doubt 
um but i think it's mostly going to be tied because of the badge it tied into as you can see right here uncle demi you know the nigga that you know be going out there and shit. he didn't he didn't mean to say now more he meant to say no more stacking the same four to five hall of fame badges you know they they want us to have lower shits i don't know if this is to cover up the defense so we don't have an excuse or if they just trying to, you know, nerf everyone. This is sounding like a very broken defensive year. Hopefully it's lit. But he's saying in lock but they say in lockdowns OP. I don't know. But um, I had a little convo with Uncle Demi, man. I said, ain't no way, lol. Only way I see is if you can't get certain badges without upgrading type shit. And he said, and that's the case, bro. Certain badges need strength in order to get. Leak, 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 leak. Then I said, will I enjoy isoing Dev Demi or will I be annoyed? Then he says, you hard to please, bro. He's low key saying no. He's telling me I'm gonna hate the game. I know that's gonna get him in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he said one thing I know for sure you'll appreciate that true dribbling skills will be back and those left right dribblers will become centers this year um I like what he said right here but I don't know if it's gonna be true I hope it's true whatever they do with this dribbling or whatever I hope it puts people back on their positions there's too many locks and centers and stretch bigs becoming guards now and it's pissing me off niggas fading on the tools all day now being guards it's pissing me off. I don't like it. The It's too easy to be a guard now, man. Put these niggas back on their position. But I don't think the way to put them back on the position is to fuck up the stamina even worse than it is or slow the game down. I, I don't think that's what it is. I think making shooting not as easy and buffing defense is what really makes people not hop on guard because they got to face certain shit then i said i just don't want to have asthma on a video game especially when it don't happen irl hopefully it does put everybody in their rightful positions that'd be super dope w then he says honestly this is where cheese meets authenticity you see <laughs> you see if you watch my last video they, they like to say that they're gonna keep pumping that authenticity word and hey man, um, Uncle Demi is saying that the game is very simulation. Um, <laughs> I'm a sim guy. I ain't gonna hold you. Even though I'm a little cheese head, I come from that sim stuff. I used to beat the shit out them bum niggas because they all suck. But they play on a harder difficulty and I wish everything would be a harder difficulty. And I'm the hard difficulty cheese head nigga, to be honest like skill cheese head not like broken post score stretch big type shit but then he says players have abused the system so much not pressing the r2 won't kill your stamina i don't know why he's mentioning this so theoretically you could dribble out the whole shot clock he me and demi played together so he knows i'm not one of them niggas i score quick unless i'm like trying to be fancy type shit and just like embarrassing nigga then he says with hall of fame for days i don't know why he's saying this um then I said, compare the stamina to a 2K, or is it the lowest out of any 2K? I score fast. I don't care about dribbling for 20. Then he doesn't reply. Then he says, you're just limited to those explosive moves that people use to spam all day to just three. So I guess that has to do with them three adrenaline meters or whatever. Honestly, it's more of a skill gap, if anything. People like you will easily separate from the rest of the pack because you actually know how to combo and you dribble. Okay, we're going to see. We got some more exclusive news, okay? They did not specify this. This is Dev Demi, man. This is, ex or maybe this is Next Maker shit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? He 2K Next Maker leader? Uh, it's probably why Demi don't fuck with me no more. Because I be, I be roasting them niggas. Uh, but it says Mishmash Expert is now a playmaking badge and has been reworked. So now if a guard gets switched to a big, not only will the badge make it easier to get by, but will get a stun animation also. Then he says, no shot boost, okay? This is exclusive shit, boy. Hey, I be saving you niggas. 
It's moved into playmaking and it helps small ball handlers blow by taller defenders easily. Okay, we gonna see. Maybe blow by only means vertically, but not horizontally type shit. They're making you equip lower tier badges to have higher badges. You know, all in all, they're trying to, you know, maybe cover up the defensive system. You know, you can't have all these badges. So like, why are you complaining? Cause you can't have them all. So that's why you getting cooked type. Eh, that, that's what it's giving off. They wanna encourage people to make some tough choices when creating their badge recipes. Make specific loadouts, loadouts, leak, 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 leak. If y'all play next gen, you know what I'm talking about. And there's also new core badges, okay? We're gonna go over all the new badges, but I'm, I'm letting you know all about the badges in general, which are four unique badge slots, one in each attribute category that could be filled with badges that don't count towards your badge points. Okay, this sounding a little, a little crazy. Each badge will have a challenge requirement that once met will allow the badge to be placed in a core badge slot. We also made several changes to the badges themselves, which are highlighted below, okay? So it's giving off a 2K17-esque, you know, park badge vibe. That's pretty dope. Um, I just hope it's not like some game breaking. But anywho, let's get into the badges, man. So finishing, they brought slithery, I guess not slithery finisher. Makes it easier to gather through traffic, avoiding collisions and strips. Uh, it's looking like finishing gonna be OP. Masher. This seems like a new badge. Increases ability to finish inside layups over defenders. Aerial Wizard. <laughs> ability to successfully complete alley-oops and putbacks. Hmm. That's a nice new cool name. Bully. Like Giannis and LeBron. Able to finish strong by bulldozing through traffic. Hmm. That's not really a badge. So I guess you put this on you could just... uh. 2k18 blow by people i'm getting strong 2k18 vibes strong 2k18 vibes strong y'all let me know which 2k you think uh 23 is gonna be like um remove badge hook specialist w but i'm sure they replaced it or something shooting agent three ability to hit difficult three-point shots off the dribble what is this the new circus threes Midi machine improved ability to knock down mid-range jumpers off the bounce or out of the post like mj okay so i don't know why they say off the bounce why don't they just say off the dribble what is you bouncing nigga? um so maybe this is taking care of difficult shots so now it's like difficult shots now mixed with post moves it sounded kind of uh, broken, man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. <laughs> Amped reduces the shooting attribute penalties when fatigued and when moving excessively prior to shoot. Okay, so something like this seems like it'll be super necessary or it'll be completely worthless, depending on how much 2K makes it uh, necessary. And that'll, there'll probably be patches that uh, affect this too. Claymore increases a spot up shooter's ability to knock down catch and shoot jumpers the longer they remain stationary prior to shooting. This is such a pointless badge. Uh, they try to do that with like the other thing, but when people are decent, like it, you already get a boost by waiting and not shooting off rip. So it's like this is kind of a pointless badge. Comeback Kid. Improved ability to shoot perimeter jumpers when trailing in a game. This is a nice cool badge, comeback kid. It, it'll be cool if it's like somewhat effective type shit. Hand down, man down, makes an outside shooter even deadlier if opponent fails to get a hand in the face, okay? 
Okay, it's sounding cool on defense. <laughs> oh, we got even more OP shit, nigga. What the fuck? Space Creator, formerly a playmaking badge, it now boosts the ability to hit step back jumpers and hop shots and also will cause defenders to stubble more often. So it's a shooting and I don't know how I feel about this hoe. <laughs> Bro, this game is sounding broken. <laughs> Yo, bro, this is gonna be hilarious when this bitch comes out. I can imagine you niggas are gonna <laughs> Y'all are gonna be so bad. Oh, this shit is gonna be funny, bro. There is no way they can balance. So I, I just know it's gonna be funny, bro. <laughs> An old favorite returns limitless range yes it sounds way better than all the other shit um making shooters more effective with any shot attempt from deep three-point range remove badges chef hot zone hunter lucky seven oh we gonna miss you lucky seven you was broken in the bitch <laughs> well you weren't broken but you were od mismatch expert move to playmaking hold on Set shooter, sniper, and limitless spot up. Killer combos improves a dribbler's effectiveness with size up dribble moves. Basically a combination of last year's quick change and tight handles badges. So they took them hoes out and switched it to this. We gonna get ankle breakers with? Hey, quick chain was kind of worthless. I mean, low key. Hopefully, you know, we don't get finessed the full year again. And <laughs> have someone expose that shit. Clamp Breaker helps a ball handler win more one-on-one -on -one body bump confrontations. The counter to clamps. Mm, maybe they added this because defense is OD, man. We gonna see. I just seen Mike Wayne tweet out that uh, lockdowns might be too overpowered right now. Hopefully, we gonna see. And low-key, there's way too many playmaking badges. Like, you, it's like a lot. Like, last year was a lot, but... It seemed like they added more, so I don't know. Vice Grip improves ball security immediately after securing a rebound, catch, or picking up the ball. Great badge for bigs. Mm. I don't like this badge. I think niggas need to be plucked. I ain't gonna hold you. Fuck them big ass centers. Um, mismatch Expert, formerly a shooting badge. This badge now helps smaller guards break down taller defenders when mismatched so do you break them their ankles or put them in slow motion what like what does it do what does it do makes you faster why don't y'all be descriptive you dumbass niggas hey we gonna drop youtube vids on all this shit i'll help y'all out remove badges bullet passer downhill glue hands and stop and go hey that's dope about the glue hands i don't like Wasting my playmaking badges on that shit. Low key, bro. I think niggas should already have that shit. And stop and go was kind of broken. Downhill was eh. Okay, defense and rebounding. Anchor, a crucial badge for last line of defense big. Improves ability to block and contest shots in the paint. Okay. So what, paint D for a what, rim protector? I don't know why they don't say badges they swapped out type shit. Box out beast help rebounders win box out battles on both offense and defense rebounding situations. Y'all think that's actually gonna be a thing? Workhorse the Pat Bev badge boosts your ability to hustle down 50 50 balls and play hard nosed defense without getting tired. Hey, Pat Bev, he should be proud of this. This is like the only nigga that they mention with any of their badges. What the fuck? Pat Bev not like that nigga. Nigga get cooked by Westbrook. Oh, God. Glove. Oh, that <laughs> I spoke too soon. Glove. Named after the legend defender Gary Payton. Didn't they have this back in the day? I I, I, I liked a badge named Glove, to, to be honest. Help you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball free from ball handlers. What? Gather for shots. Maybe hop step type shit. This sound like it could be broken or worthless. Mm, that's interesting. Challenger improves the effectiveness of perimeter shot contest, okay? Defensive leader is gone. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. I'm gonna be covering all the 2K23 news. I'm gonna go in depth about all of this. I ain't gonna break it down in one video because it would be a two hour video. So make sure y'all turn on the noties, man.
I'm going to be covering all the best builds, best dribble moves, best jump shots, all the leaks when it comes out. Everything 2K23 related, my boy. Hit that like button and subscribe if you know. And yeah, go check out my other vids that um I'm spamming. <laughs> but hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.